there might be something right there on that crib. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one. We're back here in Wisconsin. I hope you enjoyed the Tennessee videos. Um, unfortunately, we're kind of reverting back in the spawning process the further north you go. Right now, water temps are in the 42, 43 degree mark. Uh, these fish are definitely pre-spawn mode. Uh, for those of you down south, you're probably even in the post-spawn mode coming towards the end of April here into May. And uh, we're trying to find some fish in deeper water. Typically, once these water temps get into the 40s, these fish are going to set up the same spots they were in October and November. Um, so I'm looking for any piece of cover right on that hard to soft bottom transition. And typically this is going to be like 18 to 22, 25 feet range. Um, as water temps warm up, these fish are going to start pushing shallow. But right now, it seems like every single weekend it's either uh, super windy or it's a cold front this year. I'm sure a lot of you can attest to that. So I'm going to show you at side imaging here what I'm seeing. Uh, hopefully find some fish on some crib piles. And then I'm going to show you the double jig rig setup. One of my favorites to use for deep water applications. And this video is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box. I'm going to show you how you can get some of these baits I'm going to use for just one dollar. But let's first find some fish. All right, I got some waypoints marked from last year. I was on this lake and uh, where there's some deeper cribs. Here they're coming up right now. I'm trying to get out of the wind. There's a strong southeast wind right now, and I don't really want to fish in a in a foot and a half to two foot chop. There's some cribs. There might be some fish on the cribs on the left. Nothing's really popping out just, just yet. And you'll see them, they light up like Christmas trees on side imaging. Right now I got it set 50 feet left and right. There's a ton of pollen this time of year that gets mixed into the lake. So if you notice on my, where it should be black, you know, directly below the boat, it's really mixed in. I can turn down my sensitivity a little bit uh, but if you normally can see through it, oh, there's a crib pile on the right. That crib pile right there has fish inside it. We had a huge cold front come through over the past 24 hours. And so these fish, I, I thought they're gonna be a little bit tighter to the cribs and it looks like they are. Um, there are fish stacked in the middle of it. So we're gonna throw a waypoint on that. And then we're gonna circle back up there. You could either go over this with down imaging or 2D sonar, throw out a marker buoy but in this case, I do have Garmin Live Scope. So we're gonna use the Live Scope function um, and set up on, on those cribs that have a ton of fish. Yeah, the wind is picking up, but this is the only window I have between rainstorms to fish. So I thought I'd get out here and give it a shot. We're gonna do a catch and cook today. Um, but like I said in the intro, this video is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box. You can sign up for your first month for just $1 and you're gonna get a couple packs of these. This is what I'm gonna be using today. These are the Euro Tackle B Vibes. Uh, they're kind of like a paddle tail swim bait, two inch patterns. Typically pre-spawn, if you can go, you can get away with a bigger profile bait. These fish are feeding up for the spawn. So uh, we're gonna be using the double jig setup and I'm gonna be using the Euro Tackle tungsten jigs. Now these are eighth ounce jigs, uh, smaller profile and they fall a lot faster than your regular lead. So it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to fish in those deeper depths of 18, 20, 22 feet of water. These jigs will get down there a lot faster. But when you click the top link in the video description, you can sign up for just $1. You're gonna receive, receive a pack of baits. You can also add in a recipe from the cookbook that I'm gonna be using for my catch and cook later today. But let's first just tie up this double jig setup and start catching some fish. So for those of you that haven't seen a video or two about the great double jig setup, there's been about a billion videos made from this rig because it's a really good rig and it works. After about 10 feet, if it's shallower than 10 feet, I don't know if I use a double jig setup anymore, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go white and pink, white and pink jig heads. And since they're the same size, it really doesn't matter. If you're using two different size jig heads, put the heavier jig on the bottom. Um, it's gonna help prevent tangles. It still might happen from time to time if you're casting it a long distance, but it'll help prevent it. With the same size weights, I'm not gonna worry about it. Slide that one up the line. For right now, we're gonna put our white jig on the bottom. And it's just two loop knots. It's very simple. Very, very simple setup. Slide that one up the line. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tag in, fold it over, and you're gonna pull out, I don't know, three, four, five inches, 
you're going to pinch both the tag end against the main line with both hands like this and you're going to flip the jig over one time and it's going to create a loop for me it's my right hand it's going to create that loop and you're going to put the jig right back through that loop yeah it's hard to try to get it on camera here so there's a loop i'm going to put the full jig right through the loop like that um, some people have made comments about shortening up the loop knots you know typically this is about an inch long loop knot not a big deal uh, if you want it a little bit shorter you can kind of slide before you pull it all the way tight you can slide that knot closer to the jig head and we're just going to clip our tag line here and then i'm just going to tie another jig or tie another loop knot with that top jig i'm typically running these about 12 inches apart roughly um, you don't need them too far apart so we're going to put up about a foot apart here and for this we're just going to pinch our two lines the line going down to the second jig and the main line going back to the rod pinch them together same way flip that jig over one time it's going to create that loop put that jig head through the loop like that and for this one you can kind of slide the knot down a little bit Ooh, that was a big big loop oh well I wouldn't be too picky about how big the loop is. The main goal is presenting two baits uh, of different colors in the water column. That's the main goal of, of this double jig setup. So you can kind of determine what these crappie or whatever you're fishing for are actually hitting on. I'm going to be using pink and then this kind of black chartreuse pattern. It seems to always work for crappie. The three colors you should always have is a pink, chartreuse, and a white. Those three color combinations pretty much can catch crappie anywhere throughout the US and there we go there's our double jig rig ready to go now let's go get set up on these crappie I'm gonna try to catch about six to eight fish and then we're gonna call it a day because we got a second rainstorm coming here in about an hour and a half Ooh, I think there's some fish on the bottom up there let's see what they are There's a fish. There we go. Is that our first crappie? No, it's a bass. Dang it. That is not what we want to catch. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I think we're going to call it. We're going to call it. We'll do this tomorrow. I don't feel like getting soaked right now by waves. Yesterday, I think I left you guys off with a pretty bad wind and rainstorm that continued all night. It's still kind of raining a little bit, but today's a little bit better because it's calmer and we can actually get on these fish. Holy smokes, they are stacked. Look at them all right there. They're a little bit shallower than what I thought they'd be, but that's all right. We're just going to reel this. You can see that double jig setup right there. I'm just going to reel it right through the big school. Hopefully we can get six or seven or eight fish here to bite. And we're going to go cook them up. There he is. There's one. I think that was top jig. Yep, there's crappie number one. He's a good eater. I don't know how many I'm going to catch, so there's no size limit on this lake. There's just a bag limit. I can keep 10 total if I want to. I'm going to guess it's a nine and a half, and I know he looks really small. Let's bring out the bump board so you guys can actually see the measurement. He's just shy of nine and a half. I'll get his mouth closed there. He's nine, a little over nine and a quarter, right there. So he's gonna go in the box. So one of the keys when fishing with a double jig setup is understanding the depth that you're fishing in. I actually found some fish a little bit shallower in that 14 to 18 foot range. So I actually downsized to 16 ounce jigs to allow for a slower fall rate. That slower fall rate, especially during cold fronts, it allows these fish to sit in front of those jigs and follow it down and actually trigger a strike. If those jigs are too heavy and they fall straight to the bottom, 
Unless the fish are really aggressive, they're probably not going to hit it. So changing up your weight size to slow your fall rate can be really key when you're trying to catch these fish. Also, when you're going into a pre-spawn pattern, you're really trying to look on edges of the spawning flats and the deeper edges of typically 15 to 20 feet. As we get into the late phase of the pre-spawn, it's probably going to be 10 to 15 feet range. Um, but this is where you're going to find most of these fish this time of year up north. Try to find these fish, find these spawning flats, and then reach out into that 15 to 20 foot, maybe 12 foot is the shallowest, and you can cast this double jig setup around. It's a great way to catch a ton of fish. So after catching a few of those fish for the frying pan, I actually just used a simple shake and bake technique, threw them in some hot oil, and turned them into some nice golden crispies. If you want to get these jigs, these plastics, the Euro Tackle V-Bibe, click the link in the video description, sign up for two more casts of Tackle Box subscription for just a dollar. Each month, you're gonna get a pack of baits from this cool list here. A bunch of hair jigs, jerk baits, crank baits, a, a variety of really cool lures. And if you want to get some cool cooking recipes, you can actually add an ebook. It's a cookbook for like four bucks to your cart before you check out. So for five bucks in total, you get your Tackle Box subscription, your Tackle B Vibes, some cool digital downloads, and that ebook for some cool cooking recipes. Appreciate you watching. Do me a favor, click the top link in the video description. Appreciate you watching as always, and good luck on the water this season.